Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> so first off, I'm just going to show you all the beautiful new goodies at Nail Sugar. As always, Karen just, she outdoes herself every time she brings out something new. Um, aren't these just adorable? <laughs> we're getting ready for spring. It's not here yet. No, nope, we're still in January, going into February. Will we be in February by the time this is up? I think so. I don't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> oh no, actually, no, I'm, I'm looking at my calendar. It'll be Sunday the 29th. We're not in February yet. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, that was all those beautiful goodies. Let's get into some nail art. Um, so first off, I'm going to do two coats of white. Simple as that. Remember with your white, that was a bit aggressive. Remember with your white um, to do nice thin layers. It's because it's so pigmented, it will cure a bit hard. I, don't know, I can't get my words. It will be a bit harder to cure. So you can do it in really thin layers, um, which is better than doing a couple of thicker ones. Um, but it's really pigmented that white anyway. So if you get a pigmented one, you're laughing. Anyway, what am I doing? <laughs> Um, so I've taken one of those old-fashioned uh, eyeshadow applicators and some of um, the gel polish colours that I'm going to use and I'm just going to dab that onto the nail to give that kind of um, cloud effect. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding wee bits here and there, just fading it into that white. Um, so yeah. That's really it. But when, when I've used those, oh yeah, I'm using these beautiful um, angel wings again from Nail Sugar. And I use the same technique that I always use. Um, the eyeshadow applicator, I actually dabbed that onto a wee sticky pad to get the, like the fluffing that off, but there is still a wee couple of bits as you can see. I, I tried. <laughs> so I've just applied those wings and now I've done two dots with this really bright so it's, well it's not it's a kind of deeper pink but it's bright oh i don't know it's pink anyway um so i've done the two dots and then i'm going to connect them and make it into a heart shape initially i thought it was going to do it this size but I actually make it a bit bigger so i'm just faffing about here just to get that shape i want and then i go actually i think it needs to be a bit bigger so i'll just widen that, those I don't even know anymore. <laughs> this is actually the first voiceover I've done in the, in the new year, so happy new year again. <laughs> so I'm a bit out of practice. So uh, yeah, so it'll take a bit of time to get my brain back in gear. Um, so once I've got that heart shape the way I want it, I've cured that in the lamp, and now I'm going in with some rose gold metallic gel paint. And I'm just going to go and outline that heart just to give it some definition because I feel like it's not very defined just on its own. Um, and that just adds a wee bit of something. So I cured that in the lamp and now I'm going to make some starbursts because we know I love them. I do love a starburst. Um, do your, your dot in the centre and then just pull out from the centre to create that star shape. And I do go across the way with this look from the outside in. With this side because it's just a bit easier so i'm just going to do that in the other two now oh, i feel like i'm out of breath <laughs> need to do voiceover exercises i think so i'm just going to get those two last wee bits there like so there we go then i'm just going to go over it with some base coat i'm sure it is because we've got to add a wee bit of pizzazz and then I'll cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to take these opal flakes which I always forget I have them but they're absolutely stunning and you can't see just how beautiful they are on this camera because of the light, it just kills any glitter. Um, but you just dab that in wherever you want and then seal that in with some top coat. I went with some matte because I'm going to add a couple of crystals, some, I'm sure these are Preciosa crystals. Um, and I'm then going to go over again with some top coat. Now, I don't show you my completely top coating, but I do use a wee uh, detail brush just to go around those crystals and get 
it nice and sealed round about them. Um, just a wee top tip there for you. <laughs> and once that's that cured, um, we're good to go. That's the nail finished. <laughs> well, that was a roller coaster of a voiceover, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a wee thumbs up, leave me a wee comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I really look forward to seeing you next week. Join us over on Facebook. Love you lots. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.